The Supreme Court today directed the center's top law officer to speak to the Jammu and Kashmir Lieutenant Governor Mr. Manoj Sinha and find out why a lecturer in the Union Territory's Education Department was suspended just days after he appeared in the court to argue against the scrapping of Article 370. The court wanted to know if the suspension was linked to the lecturer's appearance before the court and indicated it would take a dim view if this was the case, suggesting that it might be seen as retribution. My colleague Nazir Masoodi joining us for more details on this. And Nazir, the hearing has been going on in the Supreme Court over the abrogation of uh, Section 370 for the last few weeks. And this very interesting observation, a question that the Supreme Court had, has raised over a lecturer being suspended simply, uh, that, that's what the link seems to suggest, simply after he appeared in the court to argue against the abrogation. So what do we know from the other side, from the centre side or from the education department? Have they said anything, whether the suspension was directly linked to his appearance in the court? Well, there's nothing such uh, written in the order which has been issued on the Friday last by the Principal Secretary Education Department. It has clearly say, uh, written that he, uh, he has violated the service rules. So that is the order issued by the Principal Secretary and uh, it has not mentioned that. But clearly people uh, see it linked with the, his appearance before the Supreme Court on Wednesday. On Wednesday, he appeared for almost five minutes. He argued. He said he is teaching political science in Jammu and Kashmir, and he is facing it tough to explain to the students whether Jammu and Kashmir is still a, you know, it is still democracy in Jammu and Kashmir post abrogation of 370. He said it is the he uh, in the Supreme Court. Uh, Zahur Ahmed Bhatt talked about his violation of the, um, uh, you know, constitution the way uh, 370 was abrogated. Having said that, that we have a bunch of petitions, almost near two dozen, 20 petitions. And uh, Zahur Ahmed Bhatt was one of the, he had uh, filed an intervention application. So today, uh, Kapil Sibel, senior lawyer, he raised this issue before the Supreme Court that uh, lawyer, the person who came here for a brief time argued the case. He has been suspended because of this. Chief Justice, you know, asked the uh, Attorney General that he should talk to uh, the Lieutenant Governor of Jammu and Kashmir and see why he has been suspended if it is not linked with this case. Uh, then uh, two other, you know, judges of the Constitution by uh, Justice Gave and Justice Cole, they also made observations and Justice Gave even said if it is a case of retribution, if uh, he has been, you know, uh, suspended because of this case. Hmm. So, uh, so Solicitor General Mr. Tushar Mehta said there are other issues for which the action has been taken against him and he'll say he'll come back to the you know, court. We'll have to see what now the government will file its response to the Supreme Court. But clearly it seems Supreme Court has taken a serious view of this case hmm. and we'll have to see what will happen and what will Jammu and Kashmir government say. Because senior lawyer Kapil Sibyl said if it is some other issue, why action was not taken before hmm. he had appeared for, uh, before the constitution bench. We'll right. have to see what happens, but the, this case is going on. Today was the 11th day of the hearing of the 370 case, and today uh, Tushar Mehta, for a whole hmm. day, he uh, defended the government decision to abrogate Article 370.